as, as it's going right yeah, now. And I'm talking yeah. about how fun it starts to start with random commentary. Woo! What episode are we? Number two? Two Ooh, official yay. episodes. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> how many I miss. Okay. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> we can call it like 2.1 because we were planning on podcasting last week and just didn't. We'll do that. <laughs> that <Yes>. totally counts. <laughs> yeah. We just start calling all of the episodes random things. We'll start <laughs> like <laughs> season three yeah, and like yeah. uh, we can just, we can just yes. come up with numbers. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No one keeps track anyway, right? Yeah. yeah right. Are we actually recording now? Yes, yeah. we are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Lost Aspect episode two point one. Two point one. <laughs> <laughs> because none of us wanted to put on pants last week. <laughs> Whoever wants to put pants on. We may or may not be wearing pants. Today. I may be wearing a dress today. <laughs> yep. I was talking to Aaron and I'm like, should I go in and be like, okay, I'm here for the no pants podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I was Captain Commando for a reason, just throwing that out there. <laughs> uh, I don't ever see you wear dresses. I wear them occasionally. I was going to wear one to work the other day, but uh, either my dryer was really good or I got taller. Um, <laughs> it went from being like knee length to no. <laughs> was, there was no way I was wearing that to work. But I have like, I don't know. I think I wear them more in the fall because I like to wear them with tights with and the boots. leggings. Mm, yeah. And then they look cute. And then I'm like. Well, your short one can now you keep an hour of <laughs> leggings. Yes. Really? That's where all of my dresses end up. Last time I wore a dress to clinic, um, I asked Keith uh, if it was a work appropriate dress. And I didn't even have to ask him because he rolled over and said, oh, nice tits, honey. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, we nixed that pretty quick. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. It's a little different when you're in an office. And I don't have to. What was that? <laughs> no TV. Idea. Oh, <laughs> it was like playback. <laughs> it was a sudden noise somewhere. Um. Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he's watching. Okay, that was yeah, weird. That oh. was weird. Um. Yeah, don't do that, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, announcements. Announcements this is where we start. Um, Should we do introductions? Oh, yeah. That's where we actually <laughs> start. We so introduce We things. are all in different seats this time. Yeah, this I'm on the weird. opposite. Very confusing. Sit over there. I, I have a thing with there. threes. So usually... Yeah, I'm always in this spot. So that really throws me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do I do? I don't know where to sit. It's like high school all over again. <laughs> so anyway, this is Casey with Legion again. I'm trying to stake with it from M MK3 or 2, 2, whatever. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I'm Jackie. I'm Signar. On the occasion that I actually get to play. Um, Amanda making the trans transition from Convergence into Signar. Um, I'm prepared to have an, a whole episode titled Amanda Bitches About C uh, Cyrus again. <laughs> um, we welcome yeah. you. <laughs> Fellow swans. Uh -huh. <laughs> Coming to the light side. It's okay. We have cake, too. Oh, good. Yeah. Not good news, right? Those are on the dark side. No, those are on the dark side. <laughs> and I'm Danielle, and I play Sully Minions now, which I'm really happy about. I'm, it feels like home. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Scorn. I feel like I left my people, but... I just can't. It's yeah. okay. It's I understand. Okay. It feels dirty, it but does. it feels good. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Many things do. <laughs> Many things do. Okay. So, yes. Announcements. Yep. I don't have any. The only announcement <laughs> I have is, like, like, all I got is that Dream and League's in, what, its third week? Fourth week? At well, we're fourth. moving into week five. Week, yeah, week really? five is five this week now. Well, okay. Friday. Friday starts week, f week five for us. Okay. In Baraboo. Know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a tournament next weekend. In Madison, I oh, think it's that? 75 points. Oh, oh. newest to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming even... Misty. Uh, I think it's Peg. It might be really. Peg. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's Peg. I know Brian is gearing up to go. Um, if I could get my shit together, I would consider it, but I don't have enough ponies for that. <laughs> you want to borrow yet. some ponies? I might. But I've got a ton of ponies. I've see, got all the ponies. And we can talk about this later. They're going to be unicorns. <laughs> oh, so that is nice. That's borrowing ponies is, is might not be the best thing you right now. You need to have the pink signar. And they're going to be pink signar. They're going to be pink okay. signar. Because like, oh, there are like no pink ponies. Signar. There are actually. There are um, some. There's but... one. Christine in, yeah. um, oh, where is it? Missouri, I think, mm. has has pink and, and tiger, or not tiger stripe, zebra stripe signar. Oh. It's pretty sweet, actually. That's we cool. should post a picture of her storm wall. It's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm legit jealous. <laughs> 
But yeah, um, tournament. I think Kulikon uh, in lacrosse is coming up. I don't know when. Yeah. Um, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Registration for War Machine Weekend opened up. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep, and rooms opened up for Adepticon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got and ours. I think it seems really early. Adepticon's not until like February, <laughs> oh. isn't it? Yeah, but that's why you get rooms <laughs> um, now. Adepticon yeah. is actually like March or April. April. Oh, right. yeah. It's, yeah. it's TempleCon that's that's February. Yeah. It's like with Gen yeah. Con, it's in August, but you book your hotel in like January. The year before. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. I also mm-hmm. believe that Game Hall Con opened up for Edge too. Yes. Okay. Yep. I want to say that one's been open for a or little while. Registration's been open, like for it was, getting your badges. Yeah. Um, maybe it was the events. Probably yeah. events. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Mm-hmm. Something <clears throat> happened. But mm-hmm. just for those that don't know, Game Hall Con is in Madison. War Machine Weekend is in St. Louis, and they're on the same weekend. They they are on the same yeah. weekend. Mm-hmm. So. And it'll make ATC, choices. ATC is coming up sometime next year in the early part of February, next year or right? something like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's things coming up yeah. and we're definitely announcing them. We just yeah. don't <laughs> really know when or where or <laughs> any of that stuff. Yeah, you go to Muse if you want to know that stuff. Or <laughs> Check some for so, somewhere some else. You know, like, I'm sure there's a list listen somewhere. to the podcast yeah. after us. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably know a lot better. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, I can announce all like the super exciting fun things that are just happening in life. That's true. Like, That's true. There's lots of stuff. Yesterday yeah. was Middle Child Day. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really no one great. cares. Right? It's middle Child Day. <laughs> no <laughs> one remembers. <laughs> the least eventful day of the year. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. You are the middle child, aren't you? No, I'm the oldest. No. Oh, you're just the oldest. Okay. I'm obviously the oldest. <laughs> I don't you remember. don't have the kind of attitude that I have if you are not the oldest. That's true. <laughs> true <laughs> or the youngest it's like the same thing mm-hmm. they're basically the same person just one is significantly more spoiled yep uh-huh <laughs> as casey knows because she is the youngest <laughs> yes i am bitches <laughs> so yeah you can move into like the master list of topics, topics that we have where do we even want to start so um i guess you could just post this pose this out there for anyone who's listening um we've been keeping a here are things that we want to talk about and we have just a Google Doc that is split between us. Um, if there is anything you guys would like to get our input on, just post it out on the Facebook. Mm-hmm. And yeah, or then, Twitter. We're getting Twitter access soon. <laughs> the world. <laughs> yes, tweet us your things. So if you're, a, if you're a, an inferior Twitter person, then, you know, go for it. That's cool. <laughs> Who uses Twitter? Like, nobody. 15-year-old Donald girls Trump. and guys looking to get laid. Donald and Trump, Trump uses Trump. Twitter. He turns into one of those categories, doesn't he? <laughs> that's, as far, that's as far as he can think is the 140 characters. So, I mean, it fits him. But we, we're a little better than that. So, so Facebook is great. Yes, it is. So I guess, do we want to start with your Gen Con adventures? Because that's the oh, most shit, yeah. relevant thing. I they forgot they were about fun. that. <laughs> <laughs> How can you forget? <laughs> it was so long ago. <laughs> a week ago. Yeah, I had we a need, long week at work. We need to show off your bracelet, and I need to, okay. I need to pet your bracelet okay. again because <laughs> so, it's super sweet. So John and I did a okay. class for scale mail. For those of you actually watching, it's on my lovely wrist, you know, very beautiful. Um... It was a lot of fun. It, it was the only class that we had signed up for because it was either just a chain mail class or also a scale mail. And it's like, well, scale mail is a lot prettier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we did. While you were modeling it, I totally was resisting the urge to do the QVC. Yours I was only thinking 15. That. I yes! <laughs> <laughs> And you gotta model it and you kinda have to twirl yeah, it around a little bit. Twist yeah. thing. <laughs> I do hope to like get the, get the whole knack down of making these sort of things and hopefully teach a class sometime. Mm-hmm. We fun. we ordered rings and scales last week, so try to get some practice in and learn and it's it. a fun mindless activity too. Mindless. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, once you figure it out, it's yeah. just like yeah. do yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's I like don't know knitting what scale or crocheting. Mail, like mm-hmm. it's really in depth when you're learning, but once yeah. you know it, you're just like, oh look, I made another blanket. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Wasn't it, expecting that. He actually inspired me on a costume I'm gonna be doing. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna be looking into getting some of those. Mm-hmm. What are you cool. doing? 
Well, I wanted to do War Machine cosplays, and I need a little bit of weight before I do this one, but I'm doing Scar. Ooh. I was just like looking at her shirt. You <laughs> <laughs> you and I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> you, you can't lose weight because then you won't have the Great Wrath. Well, I'm going to lose The Great Wrath is here. really, really important for Scar. It's one of her goddamn attacks. Uh, now, now, okay. <laughs> I have to advertise these great corsets that Amanda and I got at yeah. Gen Con. Timeless Cors- Trends corsets. Hmm. They're amazing. They mm-hmm. they are. I think um, we can maybe backtrack to yeah. we we did the corset shopping. Um, you got two. I got two. I got one, mm-hmm. but I think my one cost more than your two. Yes. Um, well, mine was on this, like the super sale rack, yeah. which was like um, they kept calling them either you know discontinued or um, just try trying it's different ones. ones. Yeah, they're, they're probably cleaning things. out their inventory. That and too. I was looking for something really particular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For steampunk outfits like i i'm weird i guess i don't know it's not weird i'm totally normal when i want to like dress in steampunk fashion <laughs> super normal um but they they're i mean for the men who want to wear corsets and the women out there listening um they, they're steel bonds they're like all the, steel the caging is all steel oh. um the brackets in front i think they're called buskets mm-hmm. are all steel too mm-hmm. um and they're, they're all, like, lifetime guarantees. Mm, yep. So mm-hmm. I don't think they're made in the States, unfortunately. But um, they're really know. good quality. They so are really great quality. They take your fitting there and yep. then yep. they ship them so, to you? No. No, they well, had racks right there. Uh-huh. And um, so what they did, they had one rack of, like, all the patterns that they have available. And they fit you. And then if you like this pattern, well, they have tubs behind their giant curtain. Hmm. And then grab your size out of there and oh, nice. put you in it. Um, or else they had the sample sale rack where mm-hmm. I got my two from because they're thirty five yeah. bucks a piece. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> and that that's should awesome. let you know how you expensive mine was. Yeah, yeah. you can't it's even so make them bad. for that no. cheap. No. To be honest, no. they had so mine were gentle curve, mm-hmm. so it just kind of goes with your curves. Right. And then Amanda's yeah. is oh, yeah. the uh, I got the hourglass. The, hourglass. the ones glass. that are just like boom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, um, the, that's the kind that I've got. I've got a couple at home, not from the same company. I did. I I went to a goth supply store and got the. The, the crazy goth Ooh. corsets. Ooh. Maybe I should wear that for our photos next week. Oh, Ooh, we should. I could do the goth thing. That's, <laughs> I haven't done that since like high school. <laughs> it's probably going to be horrifying. So. Like, I don't even know if I own enough black makeup to do that. I'm not sure that I do either. <laughs> I, I am no longer off. that pale. <laughs> but, yeah, they were they were something, but the 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 fitting like I. If you want to feel good about your your shape mm-hmm. or your size, you get fitted in a corset because you think you're going to be X size and you're like four sizes down. Hmm. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, no, you're totally only a thirty two. It's super good. You're fine. And then you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely a thirty two. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you get cinched down, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they can cinch me down to like almost a sixteen. Like it's 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 ridiculous. That's scary. Oh. That's, that's ten inches, dude. That's that's a lot of waste. It's just shifted everywhere else. Their internal yeah, organs are no longer where yeah. they originally were. Totally not healthy. Uh, yeah, I know. The, the people that work there, there's a couple. There's, there was the one guy. He was just absolutely fabulous. He was awesome. And then the owner was there, and he was really great. Yeah. yeah. The, the owner was a very, like, just a... a handsy old man yep. like just to the point where maybe you didn't want him fitting you in that corset mm-hmm. but you didn't really care yep <laughs> <laughs> just just that almost that level of creep where you're just about to walk away <laughs> that's the perfect threshold <laughs> that kind of job, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. They have a sale going on right now online it's like 30% off on 30% two. off on two <laughs> and like the cheapest is like 54 or something like that. Hmm. That's still not bad. That's not, not bad, bad at all. I know. There, I mean, like, I can't, like, push the quality on them enough. Mm-hmm. Like, when you think, like, oh, $54 is a lot, because $54 is way more than I want to pay for, like, a pair of jeans, and some yeah. jeans are that expensive, but it's definitely something that will, will hold up over time, and mm-hmm. if they're, they've got a lifetime warranty, so. And most yeah. of us have spent that much on a bra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I sure have. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, I go to TJ Maxx. Those are expensive. <laughs> Victoria's Secret doesn't carry my size. 
I'm sorry. Yeah. You don't? Really? I'm that small. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that small. I am. <laughs> this is clearly all fluff. <laughs> They well, carry like double A's, dude. You'd have to have like mosquito no. bites get bigger. <laughs> you just make your feel that worse. Small. Like I, I'm totally eyeballing you right now. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to go to the children's section what? one time. Are wow. you serious? That's yeah. Victoria. Some some Victoria's Secret stores can be really snooty. Like some of their yeah, workers will be like, well, be like, yeah, let's totally fit you, check you out, see if we can find something for you. And some mm-hmm. are just like, what are you doing in here? Yeah. <laughs> don't you need to go back to the preteen section? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they don't even fit you right, no, to be honest. They usually Because this one lady, no. she was fitting me, and I laughed at her. I'm like, there is no way in hell I am that size. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I'll try one on if you really want me to, but mm-hmm. it's not going to fit. <laughs> they, Victoria's Secret, I must stand by the idea where if you increase your whatever this size is mm-hmm. not your waist size the but band like, size but, yeah, yeah the yeah. band yeah. size if you increase the band size you can go down a cup size they do and that's not true yeah no, no. <laughs> yeah i'm not true at all <laughs> so everyone's getting a lesson how to wear a bra <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean there are some men out there that need them too so or want them or want them so mm-hmm. if you I want to learn they're nuts that said why would you ever want that but well, i want to live in the 80s boat, you know Let's go back to, like, the generation of you don't need to wear a bra. I had the best patient ever. She was, like, this 80-year-old woman who was talking about how she went to bra-burning parties when she was younger, <laughs> and it was phenomenal. Uh, they are not. She I mean, was a badass old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I would be one of those people. Yep. <laughs> not worth it. If you, like, if you need one for, like, like people with back problems and stuff mm-hmm. but i would just mm-hmm. rather be like nope they don't look pretty but i don't care because i didn't have to pay 60 dollars for something to hold them up mm-hmm. i would just say don't go to victoria's secret <laughs> that that's you their quality yeah. has gone i it the, has gone it's down. gone down it, it used to be really good yeah, yeah and then i don't know what happened but their prices went up their quality went down yeah. so it's just like yeah cambodian slave labor probably happened <laughs> <I guess. Yeah. laughs> Whatever. TJ mm. Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington. Penny's usually has okay bras. Yeah. And they're often on sale. Yes, yeah, true. Also, we are not talking about Gen Con at all. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Back to Gen Con. Sorry. <laughs> they might sell bras at Gen Con. Maybe. Chainmail bras. Hey, I, bras I, can get, and, I can get into and, that. And leather bras. Yes, leather bras. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Chainmail probably pinches, actually. Nipple pinching with the. Oh, like on the side. Oh, especially if you've, got, especially got, especially if you've got piercings and stuff. That just seems oh, like, like, like yeah. 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 But. I, mean, I guess yeah. that's why you get piercings, but you know. <laughs> Gen Con. Gen there was Con. a lot. There was like, a, I would say at least three gyms worth of vendors. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. it was your first year, though, right? Yes, that's that's typical for Gen Con. You've been to Gen Con just before, once, right? yeah. And I've never you, gone. Okay, <laughs> it's an experience. It's you. You have to go. I would say you have to go more than once to mm-hmm. get a full experience out of what yeah. it actually entails because mm-hmm. there's so much to do on the four days. Mm-hmm. It's like I kept every day. I wanted to just go up and down the aisles, but every freaking day we're in the vendor hall. We zig and zag and zig and zag trying to find people or trying to find a certain booth because that's what John wants to do. It's just like, I tell you every day, all I want to do is just go up and down the aisles and see what there is. But no! <laughs> so next year, that is my freaking goal. Yeah. Go up and down the aisles. <laughs> it's, it's hard because even sometimes you're going up and down the aisles and then you just get sidetracked by a demo or some store mm-hmm. has something cool and then there's mm-hmm. something over there that catches your eye i know for and for me one of the reasons why i like to go is just all of the the panels and stuff that they have the panels mm-hmm. the the different events but i often end up missing them for whatever reason <laughs> comes up whether for it's sleep. i don't want to go or <laughs> to sleep um this year i made it to one panel and it was a Sailor Moon panel. Nice. Um, which was not as exciting as it sounds. Oh, really? Aww. It was run by a husband and wife, and it was, like, the complete history of Sailor Moon. So not, like, in the show, it was, like, external, like, the oh, creator, sure, sure. like, all of the, the stuff around there. Um, I learned some really cool things, but it's literally, if I would have taken the time to go to their Wikipedia page and read everything and maybe look up some extra things... I would have gotten as much out of that instead Mm. of wasting two Mm. hours of my life listening to some guy dressed as Tuxedo Mask. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 
<laughs> not even a good tuxedo. Like his his cosplay was good. He mm. was not a good tuxedo mask. <laughs> but um, I did learn, and this is super probably irrelevant to everyone listening because I'm probably the only person out there that appreciates stuff like this this much. Um, so when they brought Sailor Moon over to the states, there was a competition between Deke and uh, Tune Makers to produce the show. Deke, which is the version that we got, mm -hmm. um, basically wanted to take all of the original animation and just dub it, mm -hmm. which which is exactly what we got. Mm -hmm. Tune Makers wanted to redo everything. Ooh, oh I'm my really God. glad we got what we got. I <laughs> need you guys all to go out there and look at um, the art, whatever whatever they're whatever they're called. Like concept the, art? Not the concept art. When they're actually doing like their, um, like the different pages of animation. Oh, um. It's oh, storyboarding? It's not, well, storyboarding is close enough, but yeah. they're just like the clips of the art or the images. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like Sailor Moon is basically Shira. Um, oh, Christ. Tuxedo Mask <laughs> is I'm, like, I'm Googling this shit <laughs> right it's now. So oh, my bad. God. It's like, oh my it's, God. Like, it's like the Thundercats happened again. It's seriously <laughs> bad news. It's the worst, but it gets better. <laughs> there is a music video, and you guys have to watch it when you've got an opportunity. Um, it is, it's just, it's the worst. Look, just look up Tune Maker Sailor Moon music oh video when you've got time. This, this, is, this is horrifying. It is. Like, yeah. That's terrible. Was, Childhoods were, would have been ruined. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, no one would love Sailor Moon as much as we do in I the kinda, States. I kind of like Jupiter as a black chick, actually. Um, I will say that. Mercury, Mercury is, is a like redhead red hair in a wheelchair. What? Oh, she's, no, she's not. She she's is walking. in a wheelchair. She's totally, oh no, she is. <laughs> 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 Not that I'm against people being in wheelchairs, but that they just they significantly changed everything. They um, actually made Ray look Asian, which I mean, I, I guess I can give them credit for that. Yeah. Like, like I said, I like Black Chick Jupiter. That's actually kind of sweet. Um, but yeah, no. Murdery. And they they changed uh, the personalities of all of the girls too. Yeah, it's really. Like they so we should post some of these pictures. Like these are really terrible. <laughs> these are really horrifying. <laughs> we'll post them on a Twitter like, page. <laughs> it's seriously like the Thundercats happened to Sailor Moon. That's just that's, ugh, He Man, Masters of the Universe. Sailor Moon. <laughs> it's it's like ugh. Yep. Yeah, so um, we we got the the version that at least I love and cherish. So uh -huh. <laughs> they're remaking it, aren't they? Yep. Sailor Moon Crystal. How long? How uh, long is that going to be? I don't know. I heard about that a long time ago. On but... season three right now. Oh, we are? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I did not know. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yep. Um, all of it's on Hulu. Um, whenever season four comes out, the mm. Hulu does it. So it's, um, I imagine next day air. So it airs in Japan mm. and then we get it just shortly after. Very important question. Are Uranus and Neptune actually lesbians this yeah. time? Okay, good. Because that cousin <laughs> shit was well, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> we all knew. <laughs> Uranus is a, 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 a man until he transforms into a sailor scout. And oh, then he like, is a woman. But so they're he's still like super together. trans. Yeah. That's super weird. Yeah, they. Mm. I mean, I think that's the way it is in the manga anyway. Is but. It? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, and but I think if you watch the original version in English, mm -hmm. or not, not the version that we got ported over. No, America, yeah, the the, but, the subbed version. Yeah, yeah, if you watch it, um, Sailor Anus is female, stays female, and they're still lesbians. So yeah, it's like I thought it was but... pretty consistent. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, that cousin, that cousin shit no was far bullshit. Too many things. <laughs> <laughs> we <Yeah>. all knew. <laughs> Cousins aren't that close. No, no. And they, they no. probably shouldn't be that close. No, that's, <laughs> those are some creepy cousins. That's like West Virginia <laughs> shit going on. <laughs> oh, so Gen Con. Back to Gen Con. Gen Con. Um, we all got models. We did all we get did, models. We'd all get, we did all get our baby casters. Yeah. Well, mm. War Machine did. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, a baby yeah. caster. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, and then we got um, Gill Ball. New, yeah. new. I got tentacles. Yep. I, I got tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got, I got my, what is it? Is it a snake? I thought you already... No, the snake no, was in not, a snake. Un not Union. Um, I don't remember. I haven't played Guild Ball in so long. I don't know. My alchemist got something else. Every really I great, got it. totally <laughs> on par 
Gen Con story that's relative to War Machine. Okay. Um, because I'm the the newbie person that I am, and play enough War Machine, but I don't pay attention to like so and so produces this or makes this or did this. Like I don't know half of the people who work at Privateer Press. Uh -huh. Um, I don't just don't pay attention to that. So we go, Brian and I. Um, go over to the Steamforge booth to get tentacles and just look at some of the other stuff. Maybe see if we can get a, a Dark Souls demo, which I did not want to stand around and wait for. Yeah. The two times we went over there. They're really bad at demoing games, by the way. Like, you don't play a full game no. in a demo. Mm -hmm. Like, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't even take a half an hour to demo a game. Um, anyway, so we go over and look at all the stuff that they have on the racks, and some gentleman walks up to us and just is asking if we're looking for anything in particular, and we're like, oh, we're just, you know, looking for the, the new mascots, and he's like, oh, well, you have to get in line, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we go get in line, we decide we don't want to wait in line, the almost half hour it is just to get up to the front, and then buy it, and then waste our time doing whatever, so we leave. We're gone, and not even like 10 minutes later, Brian lets me know that the man who approached us by the wall of models was DC, <laughs> as in the guy who developed Cyrus, and I would have had oh, a wow. chance to not only tell him, thank you for developing the army that I love, and also tell him, fuck you for developing the army that I hate. Right. <laughs> um, I didn't even get to have that interaction, and Brian was like, oh yeah, I just didn't even think about it. If you go to Adept Adepticon, DC's normally there. I just... It doesn't matter now. <laughs> Brian is just the worst person. <laughs> really, like, yeah. But uh, yeah. there are lots of boobies everywhere, too. Yeah. That's a big cosplay yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there were there were a lot of really good ones, and there were mm -hmm. a lot of, like, not so good ones. No. And then people that think they were clever by making the little Sims. Like, Those are so cute, though. Diamond on top of their head, and then they just dress normally. Whatever. <laughs> they did. They is were just dressed normally. Shape? What is it when it's a... It's the, the, the blue diamond thing. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah green. I mean, like, when green. it's... Yeah. when it's. I don't know. I'm just calling it a diamond. The thing. I just yeah. ooh, wasn't sure if, like, when it's, like, 3D, if it's still a diamond. Like, a square becomes a cube. I don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, a diamond on. is just a square tipped on its side. Yeah. If you're in elementary school, just I mean. It's a gem. It's a shape, a triangular diamond esque shape. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like two pyramids stacked on top mm -hmm. of each other. But let's see, Menoth cosplay won. Yeah, no. What, did they win? No, it was uh, Space Wolves. Oh, yeah, the Space Wolves won. And then there they, were Menoths that really were good. really good, too. There was men out there that was really good. There was a female Roadhog. That was mm -hmm. phenomenal. I saw her. Yeah. The not, but you saw the photo of the one at Gen Con, not the other lady. And you're talking about Negri, but no, the one she, yeah. I, she wasn't at Gen Con, mm -hmm. but I'm talking. Yeah, the other lady, she did a really yeah, good job. She did, and she was not small. No, by any no. means. but like, it was fitting. Yeah, for the character. Yes. Yeah, so she, she did a really good job. Whereas Negri, Negri is just, I have really big boobs. Pretty much. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's about it. It's a it's a die pyramid. Oh. I don't know if that's really what it is. Thanks, honey. Oh. That's Aaron. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now we know what that shape is called. There, there was a really good Dirty Meg when I went to War Machine Weekend a couple of years ago, actually. Mm -hmm. And she was she was not a small person either, but Dirty mm -hmm. Meg isn't either. And it, the costume was actually very, very good. I really liked her. Mm -hmm. I did a really shitty Haley, uh, Haley 2 one, I suppose, since I still have my arm. Um <laughs> But I, I I had 36 hours to work on a costume because I had just finished my first degree at that point. So, <laughs> you know, it looked shitty, but whatever. I enjoyed yeah. it. <laughs> my objective is to start planning and hopefully lose enough weight and then start putting it together. Mm -hmm. There's never enough time. There isn't. I have all of these pieces at home for things that I like. I have, like, the start of, um, like, the steampunk outfit that I was working on, the start of a Tali costume that I was working on. Mm -hmm. I just never finish things. I really kind of want to do a veil too myself because her armor is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. If I could figure out how to get the armor to work and like, because once I'm done with school, I will have a lot of time. I'm used to 80 hour weeks right now. I'll be down to like 50. And it's gonna be like okay. being on vacation. There's, there's supposed to be like some sort that's, of that's 30 hours. I don't have to do anything. I don't remember if it's plastic or if it's like a foamy plastic. Yeah, styrene is what it's called. That you and can then it just warbles. 
Yeah, Hardens. there's there's friendly plastic and then there's styrene. Styrene yeah. you have to actually use like a hydraulic press with, with which I don't have, but uh-huh. I might invest if I want to do more <laughs> with it. Uh, friendly plastic is a real bitch to work with if you need specific shapes and you need things to be smooth. That's gotcha. what I use for my Haley costume, and it mm-hmm. you know it was serviceable for a really yeah. quick crappy job, but it, it wouldn't be much good for anything. You know, it look cool for armor. Hmm. Scale mail. Scale mail. <laughs> It just seems like a lot of effort. Mm-hmm. But warble should be easier for the armor because there's different mm-hmm. types of warble that you can get, mm-hmm. and you can smooth it out to make it smooth and not yeah, so rough. Some of it's really like like paper, like you just like you do this and it wibbles like paper. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a, that's not even a real word. Um, but that stuff is really like they have it in really soft, don't they? Yeah, you just heat it up with a heat gun, and then mm-hmm. you can mold it. Like basically, you can't fuck it up. You just mm-hmm. mold it to what you want, and if you need to heat it up again, you can heat it up again. Sure. So it's really pliable, and I, I have to order some for mm-hmm. my scar. And I'm also, so I'm doing her first because she's going to be easier, mm-hmm. and then eventually I want to actually do Jaga Jaga too. So not naked, but <laughs> <laughs> my own gator you'd lady. Probably, you'd probably win the costume contest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I am hopefully maybe going to try a gender bent howl from Howl's Moving Castle. That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Cut with my pink corset that I got. And a I gender bend really well. And a gender bend um, mm-hmm. Ashitaka. From I can see him gender bending too. Yeah. Aaron commented, asked Danielle about all the costumes started, by the way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I have many. The first one was my WoW character and... Yeah, I'm not even going to get started on that one. And then I have Wasp, which I need some electronics for her. So I'm doing Privateer Press stuff right now because I really want, when we go to War Machine Weekend... What do you mean by electronics? Because I have all of the LEDs and I know how to... I know how to do the things. <laughs> so for Wasp, uh, Marvel Wasp, mm-hmm. I wanted to do like a steampunk or uh, no, not steampunk, cyberpunk version of her. Mm-hmm. And so I was taking, um, basically I was making her wings metal. Um, mm-hmm. I was taking pop tabs and I was chain mailing them together. Oh. And then I was going to put idea. LEDs in her wings to light them up. It's not That's that hard. Cool. And I can definitely tell you how to do it okay. or show you. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. I was working on um, taking... The fuck are they called? Nerf guns. <laughs> so <I> can forget <laughs> what those are called. Um, and then uh, painting them and running LEDs through them. It's hmm. it's actually really simple once you figure it out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the, like if you want to use transistors or like running up battery packs, because the LEDs that I have for one of my guns are fucking massive, and they're just like I need twelve batteries to run properly. Wow. Um, learning how to provide the correct power and not like blow them is right. a little tricky sometimes but for the most part it's pretty straightforward i feel like we should have a craft day <laughs> <laughs> that could be a fun podcast actually crafting with <laughs> crafting with lost aspects <laughs> it could be like sewing with nancy just better. <laughs> god damn it oh, god. no so we finally finished stranger things last night and i was just I don't know if you guys have watched it yet. Yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Okay, so there's a character in there named Nancy, and for, like, the last four episodes, I was just like, God damn it, Nancy. Just, like, every 20 minutes. Yeah. <sighs> I was so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend it, though. It's great. What's it about? Um, It's like the Goonies meets the X-Files meets Aliens. Yep. I think there's no other way to explain it. That is basically the show. Okay. And then add Winona Ryder. Yeah, add hmm. Winona Ryder. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> it's interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. It's on Netflix. It's, oh, is it? It's okay. eight episodes yeah. long. It's totally worth your time. Okay. I'll yep. do. Cool. So about that Gen <laughs> 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 No, I didn't go to Gen Con this year, but I did go la- two years ago now, I guess. That went by fast. Um, anyhow, <laughs> I truth be told, I don't think I'd go back to Gen Con. It was just too much stuff. Like, there were too many people, the halls were huge, <laughs> there was too much to do. I, I just, it was really cool. I'm glad I went the one time. I, I personally wouldn't go again. It's just, I, I like the small the, the smaller cons better, like the War Machine Weekend cons, where it's a, a thousand people instead of yeah. 15,000 people. It's 61, just 61,000. 61,000 wow. people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're all spread out through this whole, through like a city block. That's still a lot of people. It's like 61,000 people in a city block. Which, I mean, also, <laughs> funny to believe, 
we watched the entries <laughs> for the Olympics, and it's like, holy shit, I, we have more people yeah. here than this entire <laughs> okay. country. Pointed I mean, out to be fair, it's, it's Rio, <laughs> and who wants to go to Rio for the Olympics with no, no, fucking no. Zika? I mean, like, come on. There no. were more people at Gen Con than the national population of several countries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, just disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, David Tuxedo um, Mask in this is just fucking horrifying. Yeah, he looks like Prince Eric. He does. He um, does. It's, uh, this is just, Queen oh. Beryl basically looks like Ma- Maleficent. Like, why why did just, this happen? Yeah. <laughs> because American <laughs> people aren't smart when it comes to... They, they were, like, trying to pander to, like... And it came out in, like, 92, so this would have been, like... Yeah, this 90? is like He Man, Masters of the Universe yeah, era. But then like, it's just like, hey, what do kids of the 90s like? And when you watch that music video, you will be like, no, they don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> they did not like this. I was a child in the 90s. I know that this is awful. I, oh, I, yeah. uh, I have to watch this now. <laughs> oh, this God. has to happen just, right just now. Just hold it up to the mic so everyone yeah. can hear it, yep. too. This is, this is going to be awful, guys. <laughs> oh, I suppose I have to Now we it. take an interlude for... The worst music video in the world. It's probably gonna sound terrible too. <laughs> so there are random bad. faces. They're just like fading in and out. We need to post this. Oh, so yeah, I'm sorry. It's what? supposed to be half animated and half, half live action. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Even fucking Artemis is halfway. The cat is half animated, half... Ri- Why? It's so bad. Why oh, is this happening? Oh my god. <laughs> she has hand lightning. She's a sailor. <laughs> sailor Moon's a sailor. <laughs> Oh, it's it so atrocious. <laughs> it's just like the worst thing I've ever seen in my and life. It, it probably sounds about as good through the mic as it does coming out of my phone. Like, this is atrocious. <laughs> oh. I really kind I, I almost wish they had made this now because it's so <laughs> bad. No. And no. there's like an instant where they're all dancing like this. It's super <laughs> bad. It's, oh my god, the transformation scenes. It's like they go from. they They. It's like really bad CGI. They go from being live action to cartoon. <laughs> and it's, why is this? It's, it's it's awful. Have you guys ever seen? Um, well, I went to Asen one year and I went to a panel about Marvel and they did Marvel in Japan. So like there was these TV shows about like Spider Man and that. Have you guys ever seen scenes? No. It's about as terrible. So like Spider Man, his uh, costume is in his watch. And so he presses the button and it flies out and then suddenly he's dressed and it is just like the worst oh, shit ever. <laughs> so it sounds kind of like that. It does. It does. Yeah, I guess when you try to like culturally shift something, mm-hmm. like that's a, a big difference. We have a question. We do. Oh, I was on the mobile app when you first started. Did I hear that several of you have switched armies? Care to expand on the reasons? I didn't switch. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't switch. Um, I played Convergence. I, I think that's reason enough. Um, I can expand on that a whole hell of a lot, though. You should. You should. Um, because I kind of like Convergence. Well, be told. that was so, one of your topics, too, anyway. Yeah, it is. It's, well. uh, one of my topics is Amanda Bitches About Cyrus again. Um, <laughs> my issue is that the army in itself is okay. It's definitely good mid-range. There are things that are good. There are things that are okay. There are definitely things that aren't the best. Um, in itself, it is something you can put on the table and win some games and lose some games is you know what everyone wants but i don't have things like a hell mouth that can put on the table and win you a fucking game i don't have casters like wormwood that everyone is afraid of nope. i am not the the army that everyone's like yeah i really don't want to play into that right now right. i'm just uh sitting over here with my maybe prime axiom with iron mother is kind of scary <laughs> Like, Father uh, Lucan can be pretty scary depending upon who you're playing. Yeah, and mm. it, it can be. Um, some of my other things are just really the feeling of what is what is going to happen. Mm. What is new? My faction did not change with Mark III. Everything is consistent. Nothing is new and exciting. I got a Prime Conflux that sure as shit isn't exciting. Um, I have a new model that looks okay, but it looks exactly like the other one that I have already that is already better. Mm-hmm. Um I, what am I getting new eventually? I don't get a new baby caster, as you understand. Uh, Yep, I'm not going to get that anyway. Um, So there's nothing exciting there. Um, (laughs) Red Hungerford's post about our faction books 
and um, definitely reads like I'm not getting a book in December. Like, there were strong hints towards. Oh, we're not. Um, yeah. um, definitely probably not getting a book in that release between December and June with mm-hmm. Lock and Load. So there's a good chance I am not getting anything new until after Lock and Load next year. Mm-hmm. And that just, it doesn't excite me anymore. Like, That's understandable. There's only so many rehashes of the same models you can do, especially when you're already fairly limited as mm-hmm. a small faction. That makes sense. It's very frustrating. Mm-hmm. It's, um, I mean, there's like I said, there's things you can do with the army. It's not like I'm not in my, oh, uh, my army's the worst army ever and I can't do anything with it. I just, it's not exciting. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not, I can't play Maddox with, like, 12 different horses on the board and just smash my opponent's face <laughs> You're facing. really excited about that. I am so excited <laughs> you, for the pony list. You can you can just <laughs> straight up borrow my horses for the tournament next week if I you might, want. I'm not going to be I going, so. I think I have, because I have a min unit of them. I've got I've got two max units of Lances and a max unit of, um, of gun ponies. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah, Keith can just bring them. I'm sure he's going to go. I think, but, um, I mean, like, but that's exactly it. Like, I was building a Maddox list today that I'm excited to play. It's Mm. different. It seems like it'll be effective. It seems like I can bring something and just be like, this is my army. How are you going to deal with it? Mm. Not, I see your army. How am I going to deal with it? Mm. So, those are my problems. Also, I want new models. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's why I'm switching casters, not factions myself. I think I'm de- giving up on the Nemo 3. As much as I love the stuff that he can possibly do, he's just not good. And it's kind of... It, the, the uphill battle gets frustrating after a while. So I think I'm going to try all that, um, the Haley 2 ponies list and see how that goes. But <laughs> All the ponies. All I'm the so ponies. excited the, for the, ponies. The lances are so good now. Hey, they are they Between are the OP. cost decrease and, the, um, and their little buff on defense, they're mm-hmm. really good now. Like, uh, they, were, they were decent before. <laughs> we were talking Friday night, um, murder horses being the, the Tempest... The, That's the, what they were. M- murder mur- ponies. Murder yep. ponies, yep. Um, the Storm Lances are now Slaughter Stallions. Oh, so yeah, that's slaughter- just your I list. Like that. Murder yeah. ponies and Slaughter Stallions. Yeah, and a couple jacks because you're required. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds Throw like a storm good time. in, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Because I own horses, like when I hear slaughter, I think like horses going to be oh. killed. Oh. <laughs> no, horses it's their revenge. To me, okay. that's a different it's, term. It's, it's their revenge. Yes. <laughs> okay. yeah. Send me to the glue factory. <laughs> Are you done with that? Uh, okay. You're, you're okay. good. <laughs> so for me, I was playing Scorn, and the only reason why I went into Scorn was because I started with minions originally, Sprickly Gators, and it was fine, but it wasn't. I needed more support, so I went to Scorn because Rashad's minion list was fabulous. And then Mark Three, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stick with this, and I just couldn't make it work. And the WITC really nailed it for me. I didn't win a game there, and it, I was trying to make my list the same how it was before, and it's just like I'm trying to fit a square into a circle, and I can't. So I left, and I'm much happier. Um, I'm playing a mix of gators and pigs now, which is fucking fabulous. <laughs> Being able to do that is nice. Yes. And I I'm, do like how you talk about this like an abusive relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I left and I'm so much better off now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel bad because it's like, I feel like I was really trying to stick with Scorn. Like, I wanted them to, like, trying to make it work, but yeah. you know, I got drunk every now and then and beat you. So I eventually said enough is enough. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm playing Ras currently, and I'm trying to figure out who I'm gonna play pairing with him. Um, which Ras is Barnabas was always my bread and butter, but Ras was always really easy for me to play. Um, so I'm working on the kinks for that. But I really do enjoy playing the pig units with my Gators. A um, little sad that Posse, I wouldn't say got nerd, they changed. So people are not happy about it. Like, obviously, you're not going to run three units of posse like you would before, but there's brigands. Run the shit out of them, and they're fabulous. Um, sorry, can't get you enough of them. have those options. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that was backtracking a little bit. Um, talking about the, the command books and the forces of books, I think that is going to be my biggest concern with Cyrus until I have theme forces again. Yeah. I will probably not want to play... Um, because Cyrus was good because of their theme forces. Yeah, that's partially true. That's, I mean, Axis and his theme force 
was egregious. Mm -hmm. Iron Mother and her theme force was not something you always needed to play in theme, but it, the theme definitely helped you out. And Cintherian's theme force was also egregious. Mm -hmm. Lucant was not when you played in theme, but Lucant is special. He's a special snowflake. But like, I don't know, but you're going to be getting a whole a whole lot of stuff when you get theme forces too. Yeah. So the theme forces are really going to change the game, but I think when you're playing Convergence or you're playing Merc's Minions, not having those really... When you're not getting anything else right now, yeah, kind of sucks. It does. It's, but I'm on my side of the fence. I'm okay because because, yeah. because my my I'm open to much more things. Mm -hmm. Whereas before it was like you're either pigs or you're gators, yeah. and now I can play with other things, so I don't feel so bad. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'll just go sit in my corner of shame. So do you think that you'll ever go back? Yeah, I mean Cyrus is always going to be my main, but until the faction gets a little more support mm -hmm. um i'm having fun playing a faction where i have choices yeah and i think that's really what it's all about yeah. in the game well choices and like i got a caster like i got a new caster guys it's really exciting mm -hmm. um i was able to get jake's at gen con mm -hmm. and like feel really cool about that instead of like when we were at gen con john bought my jake's ahead of time because he was online mm -hmm. and um i actually think they ran out of jake's so they probably ran out of her before I finally got in line. I got in line with Brian, who was who was getting Tristan, and I was just stood there and I was just like, "Why am I even in line? Right. Like, what am I getting?" I okay, if you're a Cyrus player here, and there's you're looking for something special or exclusive, it's a pin, or it's a keg protector. Mm -hmm. Like, and if you don't have those already, you're totally new to Cyrus. Right. So it's just like there's nothing exciting. I didn't realize mm -hmm. they still had the keg protectors. I guess I kind of assumed that they sold out uh, two years ago? One year ago? Whenever they... it is they came out. I think it was two now. I'm pretty sure they have every exclusive except for their scar has just always been available. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought they were just a uh, year-to-year -year exclusive. That's kind of what I assumed, I guess. Yeah, no. so you can go online. It's like when a convention's going on, you can go mm -hmm. online and buy them. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So, like, I bought Aaron the Godbird judges, mm -hmm. and he needs more, so... <laughs> And that's available. <laughs> Wait until War Machine them. Weekend. Yes. <laughs> so. Yep. Yep, that's it for why I changed, but... Yeah. We can talk about... We can talk about how Kador is OP as fuck again. Oh, fuck Kador. <laughs> I play Signor... Signor. Signor. <laughs> Signor, and I don't want to play into Kador. I actually don't mind playing into Kador. There... If your opponent is playing a good list and mm -hmm. is not dumb you're not going to have a good time. It's the not yeah. dumb part that is why I don't <laughs> care so much because, like, I'm not a particularly good player, but I'm usually able to kind of figure out what's going on and what they're mm -hmm. going to do. And ha having not dumb opponents, it's like cr the Crix problem from Mark II. There were a lot of Crix players. There were a lot of really dumb Crix players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not it's, the best and, and player, I mean, but... I'm not the best player ever. I make blunders, tons of blunders, all the time. But I, I feel like that's part of the game, too, where it's not... It's a skill-based game, but it's also... It's problem-solving. They, they get, they get, they get mm -hmm. a small leg up from the, from the OP pieces, but it's primarily a skill-based game still. Yeah. So... It, it's a lot of... I mean, it, it is a, a, a war game. It is a tabletop mm -hmm. war game, yeah. so you're playing war you need to strategize and if you mm -hmm. aren't someone who can strategize you're you're not gonna have a good time mm -hmm. yeah. or if your list just isn't shit against their thing yeah but i feel <laughs> like i think we were talking about this the other night that you can have a list that is at a disadvantage mm -hmm. and that sucks but if you can outclass them as a player mm -hmm. you have a chance to win even if it's slim yeah. And I guess I kind of feel like that's how the top tier players actually do it is, you know, yes, there is some list chicken that goes on for sure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I th I feel like it's more, it's more skill than it is list chicken or luck. Well, that, and uh, I'm thinking of the game I played Friday, so mm -hmm. I was playing Indicator, actually, and it was, I'm actually okay with playing Indicator. Scorn, I was like, no, fuck this <laughs> shit, because I could not, and I talked to Brian about it too, and he's like, yeah, uh, anything... Scorn into Kador, they're just gonna bend them it's over. The high and armor it's, that does it. Yeah, yeah, but as Gators and picks, I have options. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like that's my motto. I have options. Um, 
So it was kind of a chicken in a way because with the brigands and the warlord, I can put prey onto something. And so that can help me take out something. Even though I had misplays in my game, it's not so mm. scary anymore because mm. I can negate that in ways too. But I mean, that's kind of the other thing with the, um, where I was going with this with the list chicken is you kind of have to figure out where they're going to deploy too and how they're going to do things. Because like I put my prey on the target that I thought was going to come near me, but that one actually ended up staying back further too. Mm -hmm. So even though you could have a disadvantage depending on how the game's played out too mm. might open up options. Sure. Yeah. Terrain makes a difference. Yeah, sure yeah. I played a game Friday night where there was a house just outside of my deployment zone. This big, like just sitting right there in front of it. Mm -hmm. And I had the option to go this way to a hill or this way to fucking water. Mm -hmm. And there's always scenario too. Yeah. The scenario mm -hmm. victory is mm -hmm. a thing. The scenario yeah. was yeah. the big, it was one of the book ones. So it was the, the big circle zone in the center of the table. Oh, yep. so oh I had course. to go so around. plank around. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's yep. great. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Uh -huh. But I had all of my ponies on one side and I was just like, Oh, and the I'm ponies there. are so fast. Yeah. Yeah. And they, <laughs> it was bad. I played against my Brian um, cause I had to get some of my battle box games in still, and he was just dishing them out. Um, and, uh, he's playing Legion and I saw. does he changing? No. Yes. Maybe he just switches it up. I think he does it so that people can get games in and experience different things. Okay. Cause you're our only Legion yeah. player. Yes, otherwise, I am. Or else all of you are so non <laughs> <laughs> yeah, It's not my fault. I said I was going to play Signar <sighs> this year. Um, along with everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> everyone else yeah, is like, I'm going to play Signar too this year. Um, I have been kind of considering doing a switch over to Crix for a little while, truth be told. It might be a good time to do it. It yeah. sounds like Crix is getting some love. The, the, Co the Covenant and Scavarus I really like, actually. And the Coven are actually fairly good right now, especially with the... The pre-measuring chicken meta where it's, oh, you, you have a nine inch charge range? I'll stay nine and a quarter inches away from you. Ha ha. They're well, you can't shoot me from unless you're more than five inches away on my feet. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I just, I hate the pre-measuring I don't. Game. Yeah. And I, I think that was an unforeseen consequence, but it's, it's, it's irritating. I think that it, it must have been, it definitely was an oversight. Like yeah. pre-measuring makes the game easier and more enjoyable. Sure. It makes sense. Beginner. It makes yes. sense. Uh -huh. But when you are facing against someone who is like, your threat range is 16 inches, I am 16 and a half inches away. Yeah. Um, okay. This is fun. I move forward. Okay. I'm 16 and a half inches away again. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, there, there are ways around it because you can, if they're really avoiding you, you're going to just on dominate scenario. scenario. Yep. But it's just... Especially with Kador with the clam jacks, because then they can just sit in the scenario, mm -hmm. and unless you have a way of either moving them or removing the clam jack, which is fairly difficult to do for the most part, <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah, it's not such a thing. Yeah, and not all lists can do that. Yep, either of those things. Hey, somebody says pull out the Lucky Star music video, and I—that's my husband. Yeah, I, I kind of want to veto you... that because Lucky Star. No, the music video is great. Oh, is it? Maybe we shouldn't play things in the microphone. Yeah. Phone. It's probably not Post a great Post it on Facebook. <laughs> I will. It's, it's funny. It's They uh, matched up to Mario music. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. And it's fucking fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll find that later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, our meta really sucks. Our meta is so bad. <laughs> it is really bad. And the thing is, it's not even overwhelmingly split Kator Signar. It's overwhelmingly Signar. Yeah. And here are like three additional Kator players. Kador players. I can't talk. I'm sorry. I've got our meta's actually fairly good right now. There's a pretty good balance at Peg, I think. There's a there are a fair number of circle players still, despite all the circle like Nerf bat in the are ground. They all playing I was gonna say they're probably uh, a couple of them are playing Wormwood. I forget who I play. I played Menoth John playing Signar the other day, the real Menoth John, <laughs> just to clarify. And I I don't think he was playing Wormwood. I don't remember offhand who he was playing. Now I it wasn't Bradigus. I think it might have been Chromac. I think, but but they're you know they're not all playing Signar and Kator there. So I I kind of appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, but there, there's not a Crix player to be seen, that said, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what happens when they start doing the Forces of Books. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's going, to, it's going to impact things significantly 
especially if there was as much playtesting in the Forces of Books mm-hmm. as we got in our transition over to <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 I hear some sarcasm in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, lots of playtesting happening three years of it. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. We, I believe that, 100%. <laughs> It wasn't just a couple dudes playing in the basement yeah. and thinking, oh, this would be a great change to make, guys. <laughs> what could uh, possibly go wrong? Nothing. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, no, we don't want to play the tree every damn game. Though I will say the tree is kind of fun because then you can you can target the tree. Long gunners are a thing. <laughs> Long gunners, the Karis Lone feet, they're all they're all things. They're they're good. <laughs> Yep. Yep. It's really nice to have things that are good. It is nice. It feels really good. <laughs> I used my cannon for the first time on Friday. Ooh. How'd that go? It didn't do a whole lot because his uh, unit was immune to corrosion and fire. Mm. Oh. Sad panda. Yeah. Did you know that beforehand? No. Okay. <laughs> That's why the best thing that I got at Gen Con was, as someone pointed out, just a dry erase board, but it's a... Um, it's for magic players. Um, but it's a like it's probably six by four piece of acrylic that has a at the top it says like me, you and at the bottom there's like a little notes section. Mm-hmm. So you can keep track of life points mm-hmm. as I'm assuming what the point is. Oh, sure. However, that's really great for victory points, remembering someone's mm. mat and rat or other mm-hmm. like little stupid things that you will forget otherwise. Right. Mm-hmm. And it just sits like it's not very big. It's you're gonna use your dry erase marker, your wet erase marker on it like you are on your cards, so your chalkboard marker? Yeah, I'm like, fuck those. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because let's work on a chalkboard, right. not on plastic. No. Someday, War Room might actually be good and useful, and we might actually be able to, like, do the the versus pairing. You know, how you're oh, supposed to be able to connect yeah. up with somebody else and have their list? Someday, Tinker House Games, you'll be an okay, <laughs> you'll be an okay programmer, and you'll be able to figure that shit out. It's, we're two years now, we're still waiting. Okay. Get that shit done. <laughs> yeah, I, because then you've got easy access to everything. Yeah, and when mm-hmm. they're doing whatever stupid something, you can just be like, I'm going to look at your card yep, and tell yep, you that exactly. you're doing that wrong. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Or or at least have some idea of what they're doing and what you're going to do to counter it. Yeah. Right. Yep. Otherwise, I have my dry erase board. Yep. Yep. Or the... <laughs> Can I see your cards, please? Oh, God. If they have cards. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If they have cards, which a lot of times, no, they don't. They have a fucking iPad. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then they have to pause and go phone. over your clock and while you look at shit and... Uh, yeah. 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 I, like, I know that people, especially with the fact that there's going to be card updates, that people are just going to be like, well, you have War Room. War room. Everything is there. Mm-hmm. I prefer having cards in front of me. Physical yeah. cards are nice. I agree. Especially Thanks. because you can just hand them over to somebody. We yeah. can't buy the updated ones yet, can we? Not um, yet, no. Your press store. I think it's just a once a year thing is what I, if I recall. It's just Which once is a year where they update. frustrating. Mm-hmm. Is because frustrating. War Room is instant. Right. Yeah. So I pretty much need to print off something. Because I know I, something got updated. For I don't know mm-hmm. if my stuff got updated. Well, and that's frustrating, <sighs> too, because if you are somebody who plays with cards, then you're playing with unupdated cards. Right. Yeah. So And then you go to a tournament, and you and think then, you're playing right. Yeah, and if you don't pay attention like, to no. all the errata, like, I don't read the entire errata no. document. I read, I, I glance over it, say, oh, okay, cool, and then forget it ten seconds later. Yep, like, right. goldfish memory mode, go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, what's else, what else is on our list? There's a lot of stuff. Dirty bathrooms. Go. Dirty bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Gen Con? I don't even know. Gen Con was actually really good. Really. Like in the women's restroom. In the women's okay. restrooms. Props, I guess they are. <laughs> especially at the Lucas Oil Stadium. Those are the best bathrooms at Gen Con. I didn't go to those. Oh, yeah. If you need to like have a nice clean place to pee or whatever, mm. you go down. You, you take the like quarter mile walk it is around and go down to Lucas Oil Stadium because those bathrooms are perfect. Because all the anime nerds down there, and they're probably too socially awkward to use the bathroom in public. <laughs> there was like no, no one in there. So <laughs> yeah, no, the, the huge props to all of their cleaning staff that weekend. That must it, have been it was a job. staff period. Can you yeah. Imagine? yeah, but yeah. Anyway, Gen Con, those were really good. So yesterday. I was at Friday. Friday, sorry. Again, <laughs> long weekend. Um, Friday, we were at our normal game store. I don't know if I want to be naming names. Uh, I mean, tell them you're there on Friday. They probably figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it was just 
absolutely horrid. Like, it had yeah. it been cleaned for at least a month, I feel. At least. And it's like, well, they always leave the fucking seat up in the first place. There are women that come to these bathrooms, people. That sounds like nonsense. Ugh. We all hover, remember? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Who does that on like, that subject? Who you, hovers? No. I will try it's, to it's hover hard. if I can. Yeah. Are you trying to, like, you spill pee? all over the yeah. place? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> try to, I can't anyway. That well. <laughs> <laughs> I try to hover in porta potties if I can't through the fucking seat. <laughs> <laughs> porta potties, you might fall in. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to fall in. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure there's some porta potties that were in better shape than this fucking uh, bathroom. Was, oh, that's bad. It, it was, was it was bad. It was, I I, not I had to there. take toilet paper, put down the seat, and then continue to wash the seat because like some shit got caked onto the oh seat. My God. Yeah. Are you talking about okay, literal I, shit? Because I'm pretty I sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I mean, it, it wasn't like a hunk of it, but it was you know, <laughs> just a little spread of it. It's just no. like, oh my Ew. fucking god, it's so oh, who bad. Who left skid marks and didn't I... clean it up? <laughs> it was bad. Nerds. 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 Like, do they live like that? Uh, I hope not. Oh, well, yeah. if their moms are cleaning the bathroom. Oh, that's then... fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Basement dwellers. <you> know? <laughs> <laughs> but th- that just this brings me to my point that Yes, a lot of game stores have a lot of male patrons, but you guys just really need to remember that there are women. That's not a gender thing. Yeah. That's a don't be a disgusting uh, person. Yeah. I mean, like, the, first and foremost, don't piss on the seat. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> don't piss off the seat and make it <laughs> yeah, run don't down. Don't piss on the floor. If you can't aim, no, guys, if you can't one, aim. It had, like, <laughs> It had stains all the way around, like, oh, the tank yuck, that's onto bad. the floor. Oh, There's, so but, I mean, like, there are... I mean, if your your thing is, well, women don't ever go to, go to the store. There's disabled people. Yeah. And there are probably dudes who sit down to pee. There are. Like, that's yeah, a real there thing. Are. Speaking yeah. of which, PSA for all the guys out there, if you can't aim, sit. <laughs> for the love of God, just fucking sit down. You're not more of a man for standing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Everybody will thank you for not spraying the toilet seat. Yes, everyone. Everyone. Everybody. <laughs> but it's just for Christ's sake, keep your fucking bathrooms clean. Yeah, that's it's it's a Ugh. duel. The stores should be keeping their restrooms clean. The customers should not be pissing on the seat yeah. or <laughs> shitting on the seat. <laughs> like <laughs> those. Although I will say that, like, if you miss, take some toilet paper. And I mean, I know. there right. have been some like right. women's right. restrooms that I have been into that have just been like. Mm. What did you just do in here? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever been into a woman's restroom that was worse than a game store bathroom. Yeah. Pegasus is usually pretty okay. They Pegasus do a decent is always job. pretty nice. good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's I Every think it's just the all the paint just piled stains up, but that's, that, you know throw me off because the paint stains it's like, no, it's not clean, but it actually is pretty yeah. darn yeah, clean. It, it doesn't yeah. spring. Yeah. It's fine, you know. You and pee, you get out, it's, it's a yeah. bathroom. And, and men know how to aim there. Apparently. Or they sit. Or, or they, they sit. sit. Like real human beings. <laughs> Should get one of those, like, those weird lady cup things. <laughs> oh, the those things! <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to try one of those, dude. I don't think I could actually do it. I want to pee my name standing up without having to, like, do acrobatics. <laughs> like, I think I would have a hard time peeing <laughs> without actually sitting. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I guess you that's kind of like, like a Pavlovian thing. I guess you sit, you pee. Right. You know? That'd be kind of yeah. hard to break. I guess right. after a lifetime, you know, a, li- a <laughs> lifetime <laughs> of pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time. To I mean, pee. well, it's not just like the whole like sitting because I'm sh- I'm sure you could eventually break that. Like I have to pee. I'm just gonna stand and pee. But the like getting it in a position in your vagina so you can Where pee it doesn't, and it doesn't like doesn't dribble anywhere. anywhere. Well, it's not so hard. No, I mean, but it is in anatomy. a public bathroom. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's what I'm, like, weirded out about. Like, yeah. practice I'll use that here. Don't do that. Home. Home. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I will shamelessly use the men's bathroom in public. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you gotta I've go. done it before. Yeah. Like, like, the old yeah. quick trip if, in Cross Plains. Oh, when the bathrooms, when it's a single person stall and they're yeah. gendered, I'm like, fuck that. It's yeah. just... Even if it's, even if they're yeah. multi-stalls, I don't care. If the women's bathroom is <laughs> full and there's only a couple dudes in the men's bathroom, whatever, I'll pretend I'm a crossdresser. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I suppose when you really gotta go. You like, gotta go, you gotta go, dude. Bathroom. I'm not gonna shit on the floor. <laughs> uh, speaking of, it, 
there was one person in the bathroom in the anime area, mm -hmm. and I felt so bad because I'm sure it was a young girl who was poop shy, and she was <laughs> just like sitting on the toilet, super quiet, like the whole time I was in there, and like, like I just had to pee, but I'm not a slow peer. Like, I go in, I like have to take my pants off, then you pee and you pull out your phone and you take a couple seconds after you're peeing because you're still doing something on your phone and you wash your hands, and I was just like. I didn't even think about it. Just, she was just there the whole time. And I was just like, I feel really bad. <laughs> like, be comfortable using the bathroom in public because everyone does it. There is yeah. a child's book out there. Everybody poops. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. 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 Though if you are poop shy, life pro tip for whoever is out there, put some toilet paper down on the, on the, in, the, in the water first and it conceals the sound. <laughs> well, <laughs> so it breaks the fall. <laughs> like I'm clearly not poop shy, but I've heard from people who are. <laughs> or if you're just worried about the the smell, I mean, there is this wonderful product called poopery or Febreze or Febreze. <laughs> <laughs> she just Febreze the water. Like, <laughs> the poopery does. You spritz it and yeah, then you go. No, it's a with the British lady. Oh my god! Oh my I've god! Seen that so, so many if you times. haven't seen the poopery commercial, <laughs> no, watch it. We need All to right. post that too. Yeah, we'll find that one. Oh my god! You think Here's it's not a link to every thing. video we reference today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't watch the Sailor Moon video. We'll post it, but but don't, don't do it. it. It's so bad. It's really bad. <laughs> Like facts. Yeah. yeah. From last aspect. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so again, again. Clean bathrooms. Yeah, people. clean bathrooms. Are... Please. Please. I don't even I still like don't understand how it's so hard. I don't I don't like, know either. Don't it doesn't even take that long no, to no, do just, just, just to clean. clean. Well, I mean to clean. Well, but when it's even, that bad, it probably it takes a couple like, hours. All you do is you throw some toilet bowl cleaner in and you let it sit over and soak yeah. over. Right. And then I think this is the point where they have to like fill a miracle grow thing of bleach. <laughs> so that they just spray down. Spray down. Yeah. Like, it's Pretty bad. much. Oh. It's bad. Yeah, I thought I thought the one on East Side was bad. What's that? Is that a just a It's it's an O. And okay. a backslash. I feel like it's supposed to be an emoticon, but I'm like I'm just really out of sure. touch. I think he has a question. Is that a head with an arm raised? Maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe it is! is. I maybe like that. that. <laughs> I like that. I don't think that's what it is. But I invented a new emoticon today. I feel, I feel like the old person who's like 60 when this, the colon and the, the um, parentheses came around. You know, the smiley face? Mm. And just was... not knowing what that was. Oh, man. Like, maybe that is what that is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I live in a world of emotes. Less so now, because I just use the ones that are like... The, the faces the that yeah. are really on yeah. my phone because some of them are fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, some of them are really, really questionable, but they're really good. But like, I've always just used like, like I for like sad face or happy face, I always use a C instead of a parenthesis, and that really threw people off. And I'm like, this is a fucking face. Like, how is it hard to tell? <laughs> um, you can do the carrots, the brackets as well, yeah. or D's because or then D's. it's a big face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I still use punctuation in my text messages, so I'm just really out of touch. Me too. I, guess. <laughs> I do too. I transitioned. I used to be this person who was just like really particular about grammar. Mm -hmm. And then I was in school. And during school, I was started out like this shit needs to be prim and proper. Otherwise, I cannot convey a single thing I'm trying to say. And then, like, I started taking linguistics courses. And getting really into, like, English, uh, like, language theory. Mm -hmm. And oh. it's super fascinating. And now I and, give no fucks. And how the transition <laughs> happens. Yes. Now I'm just like, if you understand what I'm saying, it doesn't matter because you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I have saved myself so much effort. And words are a thing <laughs> that evolve. And they're new ones. And there's ones that go away. And punctuation isn't relevant it's just stuffy old white men that care about it. <laughs> on the one hand, I am a stuffy old white person, but on the other hand, I get where you're coming from. <laughs> I actually, I did a... I still love semicolons. Oh, yes. 
They're semicolons are semicolons are important. They are, and and so are Oxford commas. Yes, I will Oxford defend commas. the Oxford comma to my death. I have professors <laughs> that don't know how to use the Oxford comma, and I want to shank them. <laughs> Smiling poop emo- Oh, yep. The smiling poop emoticon. <laughs> That's another good one. It's a really good one. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I just, I, like, I can't. I did a one of my senior projects. It might have been in junior year. Um, my, like, upper level. It was, like, sociolinguistics. Um, our big, like, final project was to do a study. And I did my study all on, like, internet like chat language and Mm. um conveying conversations and how it is so crucial when we're in a textual like people honestly think when you use punctuation in a text you're upset like that is Mm. the message you're conveying it's amazing i did this like massive survey out to like i guess i must be always upset then (laughs) it's like borderline caps lock i'm just like (laughs) i'm just like a cranky old lady i guess (laughs) yes punctuation is stern Caps lock is hella upset. Like, uh, everybody. Really? I, and, like, it wasn't, like, 100% of people. I surveyed, like, a couple hundred people. Hmm. And it was just, like, a random thing. I posted it out on a couple forums and had people. That's it was fun. fun. I liked a, it. Apparently there's a senator in Australia who spells his name with a colon because there's a secret Ill- Illuminati plot to control us all with grammar. That's correct. Is that real? <laughs> I kind of want that to be real. <laughs> 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 um, I don't yeah. prefer punctuation anymore. Uh, see, I prefer punctuation, no period. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Oh, At least you capitalized the I. Yes. <laughs> also, punctuation is not grammar. Our perception of grammar is not what it actually is. It's another one of those things mm-hmm. where it means something, but everyone thinks it means something totally different. So it colloquial means the thing that it actually now means. Mm-hmm. Um, grammar is your like sentence structure. sentence structure yeah not your punctuation can be grammar if it affects yeah. your sentence structure mm-hmm. but it's not always nope mm-hmm. lizard people do run the world i do concur <laughs> <laughs> i know because i have a pet lizard he he does run run the house he's <laughs> objectively the smartest person in the house <laughs> yeah i mean you feed him he does nothing but lay around yeah he's like, smart he's got this <laughs> made he's got this made dude <laughs> i even scoop his poop like he's <laughs> oh. hmm. uh, the senator well, I mean, is we got, real. We got, the, we got the moron part that you didn't need to tell us. But <laughs> <laughs> and he really yeah. thinks he is if there is a plot. Yeah, I mean, well, mm. I, I, mean, I mean, who's really dumber here? The senator or the people who elected that senator? That's kind of a chicken and the egg argument, I, I understand. I, we, well, I mean, I'm, I mean we, mm. we're not much better, <laughs> like, that said. I'm not trying to throw stones. We have deny <laughs> global warming, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good job, America. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're about to potentially elect Donald Trump to our highest Don't office. Don't talk like so. that. Like, <laughs> I cannot. I'm just saying the competition oh doesn't look too good by comparison yeah. either. I, I literally feel like I can't. Like, I'm probably going to kill myself if that happens. It's just so <laughs> bad. Nova Scotia welcomes yeah, us. Nova Scotia. Cape, Cape Breton is a little hellhole. I've been there. But it's... <laughs> it's it, it cheaper sounds now. better. Yeah. yeah. Britain's cheaper. Britain's way cheaper. That's actually Nova a good Scotia's point. Nova Scotia's not bad, though, because once you're a Canadian citizen, you can, like, you can go leave elsewhere. Nova Scotia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and Cape Breton is a special hellhole, but, you know, the rest of Nova Scotia is not bad. Halifax is okay. You can you can move to, to Newfoundland and then be a Newfie. Ooh. <laughs> if you want to be a fisherman, that's a great idea. But <laughs> It sounds better than living in a world where Donald Trump is my president. That's fair. <laughs> Calgary's not bad, but the winters are terrible. Yeah, I mean, the winters are bad enough here, so... That's fair. Actually, I don't well, think the winters on, are too like, bad. The coast, though. The winters aren't as bad on the coast, No, they? they're not. You just get a ton of snow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, the winters are actually quite pleasant in, in Nova Scotia. That's why I went was in the like January or something like that. That sounds like a good mm. yeah, time. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> let's just move to Canada. I mean, I, as a nurse I can get an easy visa pretty much anywhere. So I can like sponsor you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Come you're already married, so like we can't do that. I mean, if polygamy becomes a thing, <laughs> we, get married we can do the sister wives. <laughs> 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 Sister lesbians, I don't know. <laughs> I'm 
I'm on board if you guys are. <laughs> How does that work? We'll I mean, try anything. If once. there is no man in the equation, is it just sister lesbians? I don't know. I, I don't if see you're why married. it couldn't be. I don't see why it couldn't be anything. I mean, if, if polygamy becomes a thing, why and gay marriage is a thing, why can't you merge all of them and just have like a commune? You know? Yeah. A commune I mean, people like, that bang. I mean, what's so wrong with that? <laughs> it's like a polyamorous relationship. Because yeah. I think polygamy isn't the same as polyamory. No, it's not. It's not. So, like... Polygamy is just multiple wives, basically. Yeah. yeah. Which is stupid. Who wants that many wives? I don't know. Like... You know, I, I so I, I took Mandarin in high school and still remember a fair amount of it. And the symbol for peace, funnily enough, is the radical for a roof and just one single woman radical. <laughs> and the running theory behind this character is actually, it's the word on for peace. You only have peace if there's one woman under your roof, not multiple. <laughs> they had, they had, and they had polygamy for a long time. They were smart people. <laughs> I guess like I just live in a world where like if you if you maybe I'm just assuming too far if it's a polygamous relationship there's usually like the man who is the breadwinner mm -hmm. and there are multiple women mm -hmm. who sure are taking care of the homestead they're probably not working mm -hmm. and they're like 20 children probably aren't working. That has to be expensive. Yeah, that's what I'm getting <laughs> at. Like, how is that a good idea? I mean, I guess that was in different societies where maybe it was less expensive to raise kids and have multiple families yeah. like that. I mean, and I'm, I'm sure it was only farming. the people who were wealthy enough to do it. I was going to say, they were probably farming. having kids to do farm yeah. work, too. Well, and which, you also bought your wife then, too. You, so, I mean, if you could purchase your wife and you're rich enough to money. have, like, five of them, you probably do have some money. So. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the, the the economical stance of people in a polygamist marriage. I mean, now nowadays that would actually work really well because most women do still do work. Yep. And, right. and the ch child rearing is split. Oh yeah. So totally. you have one child care person that just does child care for like the twenty kids that you all have between the commune, and everybody else works, and it probably works out really well. It probably works amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well. And if you have that many children, can you imagine the tax breaks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I mean, you just buy one, like, giant McMansion, you know, that's got, like, 20 rooms, and you're all set. And it's still cheaper. And yeah. bunk beds. And bunk beds. Every bunk beds are a thing. Beds. Bunk beds are awesome. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's a good way to prevent your, your teenage children from banging. Yeah. <laughs> God it's, damn have it, you ever tried having? Have you ever tried having sex on the bottom bunk, or on the top bunk, for that matter? No, because I was smarter than that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's, not even like when you're in college and you share a dorm. No, like, who does yeah. that? Oh, I mean, some people do, That's but they're gross. weird. Yeah, don't have sex when there are people in the room. No. Like that is another like. D don't piss on the toilet. <laughs> Learn how to not be poop shy, and if you're poop shy, there are ways around it. <laughs> don't have sex while people are in the room with you. Social tips. <laughs> <laughs> Those will be good steps to get you through life. I cannot even imagine. Yeah. It's gross. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless they're there with you, like, having sex with you. But, like, Brian has a story where... Oh dear. <laughs> he was in school and his roommate's girlfriend was over, like, giving him head, and Brian woke up in the middle of the night. And I'm just like, if that were me, I would have called my roommate out because, for one, I have to sit through the awkward. Mm -hmm. Now they have to sit through the awkward. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, no, I just rolled over and went back to sleep. I mean, I've had <laughs> roommates where they were in a separate room, like, next to mine, and you could hear them. And I, I, I did knock on the door and tell them to quiet down. <laughs> 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 it's a separate room. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. But if they're being super loud, then you're, you know, that's... Yeah, you should be conscious of the people yeah, around you. Yeah. yeah. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Social tips from Lost Aspect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't piss on the dick. toilet seat. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Don't bang in the same room where other people are trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Don't put shit on the toilet seat either. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Let's see it. Clean your bathroom. <laughs> How are we on time? Oh, should probably wrap up soon. Yeah, we probably should, I suppose. Recommendations. My recommendation was watch Stranger Things, but if I had a better one, um, watch Stranger Things. You especially okay. watch Stranger Things. Um, if you liked The Goonies, if you liked X Files, and if you liked Aliens, or if you liked all of them, you'll probably enjoy it. Um. But uh, my, yeah, other than that, I don't really, I don't know. 
Playing No Man's Sky, everyone should play that. It's a good time. <laughs> Go explore space. <laughs> uh, I don't have that. You don't have No Man's Sky? John doesn't have it? I don't think so. That's surprising. He only has a PC too as well. Yeah, but it's not like you can't play on his PC. Yeah. PC. It's literally just you start out on a planet and you get no direction and it's like just go out and get off this planet. Go like the objective of the game is to try and get to the center of the galaxy. Okay. And you start out like way in the middle of fucking nowhere. Mm-hmm. And then like way out and you have to go here. And that's just like there's a star here. <laughs> like you just keep going in. And drive for three hours. Yes. And drive for three <laughs> hours. Yeah. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Oh my god. That was so bad. If you don't have a hyperdrive yet and you get out into <laughs> space and you're trying to get to another planet, you will sit there and have to hold your R2 button until you get over to that other planet for three fucking hours. Oh god, that's like Wind Waker's sailing, but worse. <laughs> yeah, it was it was intense. I went back down to the planet I started on and figured out how to get the hyperdrive. <laughs> I, was, I was not going to hold the R2 for three hours. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess my recommendation is, um, if you can make it to Gen Con, do it. It was a lot of fun. Do some classes, like scale mail. Or chain mail. Stay on site. Yeah, stay on site. Don't, 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 the don't, ghetto. don't do Airbnb. <laughs> don't do Airbnb and get this creaky little house on the edge of the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> where they also rent out the shed that they made up into a place to stay. Yep. Oh my god. For another couple. <laughs> yep. <sighs> to be fair, we weren't quite in the ghetto. We were like on the edge. Yeah, because exactly. you could go that way, and you would be like where all of the hipsters are, and then you could go that way, and that's that's when it started to get scary. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, stay on site or find a real hotel. <laughs> I guess yeah. my recommendation is if anybody is interested in going back to WoW, they're doing an event right now where you can get your gear upgraded. It's very easy to do. I'm playing WoW again. It's like oh, crack. You. Well, You get me- off it for a while and then you just you relapse. Dude. Yeah, you do. And it's hard because it's like you hate uh-huh. it. But, but we've then, all agreed yeah. we're not going to raid. Uh-huh. We're just going to dungeon. For now, you're not going to raid. It's like saying you're just starting with the weed. You're not going to raid just yet. I swear. No heroin. Um, and, uh, no, PvP is the heroin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. It, I'm playing it easy, so we're just trying to get the gear and get our item level up a little bit before the next expansion comes out. And I, I play the game for the auction house. I really like to make money. I wish it was real money, because I'd be... I mean, rich. you could sell it on eBay. That can translate into real money. True. That's a thing. I guess. You might get banned. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, the most fun I have in that game is farming for stuff. And Does Blizzard even really ban you for that anymore? They used oh. to, like back in Burning Crusade, but that's, the only, that's when I was... I don't know. I don't know if they're banning on WoW, but I know that they've been banning for... Um, Overwatch. So. Overwatch, they've been swinging the ban hammer like crazy, and it's frankly, it's great. They've been they've been doing a good job of trying to keep that clean. I'm telling you, they probably just enjoy it. I moderate a forum. I love swinging I've, band. I've hammer. moderated a forum it's too, the and best it's the best feeling. It is. It's like that. It's like that internet power trip. It's great. <laughs> God, man. Yeah, let's. Those are those are good feels. I did see the commercial for the new expansion, and I didn't realize it was a new WoW expansion. I was like, holy shit, this looks cool. And then I figured out what it was, and I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad John stayed out of it for like two years now, at the very least. And it's just like, yes, he's just like never going back. Yeah. Speaking of horrible addictions, Rise of Iron for Destiny is coming out, and I'm just like, uh, am I pre-ordering it? Probably. It's gotten to the point where Keith asked permission to start getting into a game that he's going to get horrifically addicted to now, and like, I never care. He can do whatever, but it's it's kind of funny because WoW has ruined multiple relationships of his. <laughs> How is dangerous? Wow, rating is I, I, serious business. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> I understand. I've rated in Destiny, and mm-hmm. that, that, yeah. No, yeah. our relationship improved significantly when he finally stopped well. I just don't think I would mind. But I think Brian and I are so very, like, 
I don't want to say we're distant, but I'm just like, if he wants to paint for 12 hours of the day on a Saturday, <laughs> that's fine because I'm going to spend all day playing No Man's Sky or watching anime or playing Overwatch. Mm. And then like, maybe after supper, we'll do something together. That's kind of how we are too. It's very, very nonchalant. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, I, I like having me time. Yeah. We are thinking of getting like a way to hook up his uh, computer to our big screen TV so he can go through like the DLC and stuff from Witcher. Mm -hmm. All you should need for that is an HDMI cable. Mm -hmm. That's how I, I have my yeah. um, TV well, so well, he, If it's a PC, are... he wants like a mm -hmm. controller for it and whatnot too. Oh, that's, that's super, not hard that's either. Yeah. Too. It's just you, you guys don't have a PS4, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. you can. Um, most Xboxes or PS4 controllers, PS3 even, yeah. um, you can actually, there's programs mm -hmm. or plug it in. And there mm -hmm. are specialized ones you can get to that are specifically yeah. designed for PC. You just have to map the buttons, which is, it takes like five minutes. It's yeah. not a big deal. He, oh. he got something. Mm -hmm. um, how is No Man's Sky? Did you talk about it already? Um, <laughs> if you like exploring, if that is the only thing you like doing, No Man's Sky is fantastic. Um... I guess I wouldn't even say that because there's some there's some minimal combat, um, but you you very seriously you're like oh look at this rock I'm gonna mine this rock oh look at this plant I'm gonna mine this plant oh shit I have no more inventory space what do I do? Um, there's some building so you can like use this plutonium you found in this rock over here and put it in your your gun so that you can shoot more things and um, but beyond that there's really I, I mean, I imagine when you get closer and closer to the center of the galaxy, more things will happen. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's pretty, you're, you're an explorer, having fun. That's <laughs> <laughs> about it. I think we got a Steam Link. I think he ordered one of those. Is that the controller? Yeah. It's pretty great. We have one. Yeah. I like it. Um, I play it. I play this game called Hammerwatch, um, which it's just kind of a dungeon crawler, I guess. And but it's great so I will use it for that yeah. what I wound up doing for my situation is I have um, I have a dance pad for DDR because oh, I'm yeah. because and it's a metal one because I'm a fantastic nerd <laughs> like I am. <laughs> we have two I wish I had I want, I want to get the second if I can get Keith to play every now and then I would totally get a second because I like to do I do doubles too I actually, I used to, actually used to be semi-competitive, but so I got this is in the days before they were USB. It was the PS2 where they had the shitty like SCSI cable thing yep. that you, you plugged in. That I just aged myself, SCSI cable. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> eight and a half inch floppies too. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, um, they sell converters for PS2 to USB, and I have one of those shitty things, and it, it, it's I need to get a USB. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Anyhow. <laughs> Do you have a recommendation? Uh, I have two recommendations. One is the obvious one. Don't go to grad school. <laughs> Just don't do it, guys. Bad idea. Don't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> ADR work weeks are balls. Um, second one, Ghost in the Shell first season. Watch it if you haven't. It's fantastic. Like the old, old one? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, standalone complex. Got it. Uh, second gig <laughs> is mediocre at best. It's The stuff they tried to do with it was great. The way they went about it was really... Uh, it, it was sleep-inducing, frankly. Um, I actually used it to go to sleep a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the first season was really, really good, though. So highly recommend if you haven't seen it. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's Yay. it. That's episode 2.1. So we need to call Andy. Andy. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Tune in next weekend for episode 3.2. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it's the weekend. The 28th. We're oh, doing okay. alternating. Oh. Or no, wait. We're doing yeah. the second uh, week of the month and then the fourth week. Uh, yep. Every second and fourth Sunday. Okay. Yes. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you.